A brawl at the Outlaw Saloon all caught on camera. We brought you the disturbing video earlier this month, and since then, our viewers have asked us, how did this beating even start in the first place? Kevin Keene has some answers in tonight's Not On Your Side investigation. Surveillance video from the Outlaw Saloon shows a visibly angry mob throwing punches, knocking victims to the floor, kicking them in the face. I just wanted it to stop. I wanted it to stop, one victim told me earlier this month. It was just a big blur to me at the time. A big blur. Now, some clarity. From this Pima County Sheriff's report recently made public, one victim, a woman, told investigators the group made fun of her son because he was wearing a sparkly silver shirt. The son told deputies he was talking with someone when a second individual walked up and began to antagonize him and call him a derogatory term for a gay person and then a derogatory term for a black person. He also recalled references to white pride. A worker at the bar that night heard the crowd yelling white power all night. A witness described seeing tattoos that appeared to be swastikas. So does this video show a hate crime? Hate crime is not a crime in the narrower sense as to there being a statute that says when someone does this or that, that is a hate crime. Deputy Tom Pina explains the 10 suspected attackers who were in court earlier this week are charged with aggravated assault. Hatred, he says, is a possible motive in some criminal cases and could lead to more jail time, a judge decides. After their arrests, some gave investigators their side of the story, saying one victim yelled at them, quote, something to the effect of being white trash. But in the report, many of the arrested said they were sorry. An investigator wrote about one man, quote, when I asked him why it was that he decided to turn himself in, he indicated that he watched the video approximately 1,000 times and it made him feel small. The report also lists the kinds of injuries the three victims had after that night. There were a lot of bruises, a few people had to have stitches, someone's teeth were chipped, and another person, a victim, had a mild concussion. Kevin, deputies arrested everybody they were looking for in this case, right? All 10 of them, and they will be in court next month. I know we'll be there as well. Kevin, thank you so much.